Hey, Sylvia, David. Hey, David. So, uh, let's see. Today is uh, Friday, February the 10th, 2012. Yes. And, and I'm going to... I'm going to visit with uh, Sylvia about uh, what's coming up on uh, Valentine's Day at uh, Beats. All right. So, you know, actually, maybe tell people what Beats is in case they don't know. Well, Beats is a uh, restaurant, cafe, uh, casual dining, uh, maybe a little bit more upscale than a, a, a raw food restaurant that you may be used to. Um, and uh, we're uh, organic. We serve organic. Uh, gluten-free, um, a lot of local produce uh, that we purchased from farmers here, um, and that's the cafe. We we serve raw food uh, with a, a conscious twist to it from what I consider conscious twist. We're green, we compost, we reuse, and we recycle. Anyway, that's the business, but it's a raw food restaurant. Cool. And uh, just uh, for those who may be new to raw food, uh Explain what raw food uh, preparation is compared with uh, cooked food preparation. Well, raw food is uh, nothing is heated above 118 degrees. We keep everything here below 115 degrees. And why is that? Because it, it maintains all the enzymes and nutrients that are in the plants, uh, in the uh, nuts and seeds that, are, that make them available to the body for energy and, uh, and use right away so maintaining the food uh below that temperature is what we call raw food right yeah and, and just it's also, and, and it's also clean food so it's food that doesn't have any preservatives or chemicals or it's right. real food that we combine together to make to make the dishes that we make here at the cafe yeah and um for those people new to enzymes the important uh, consideration of enzymes is those are the uh, components that allow you to digest food so you know if you're if you're wondering why you can't lose weight, for example, if you're only eating cooked processed food, there's no enzymes. It's really difficult to digest any of that, and it, you know, it goes in one end faster than it can come out the other end, and it goes on as weight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Exactly. And we have, David, we have a lot of people who ask this question. You know, what, you know, when they ask what we serve, and we let them know, they go, well, "Where do you, where do you serve? What kind of protein do you have?" And I kind of chuckle a little bit because there's more protein enzymes in those dark leafy greens and uh, and fruits and you know like that that than there is in cooked beef. Right. Um, and a lot of people don't realize that um, that we do have enough protein enzymes in the foods um, that uh, that are alive. Well, that's a common misconception. I mean, protein uh, to to talk about protein. There are several considerations. One is the amount of um, assimilable protein, which is, you know, there's a difference. I mean, if you eat, if you eat for example, a piece of uh, cooked flesh, the amount of assimilable protein in there, in other words, protein that can actually be um, moved from your digestive tract into your cells is only about 5% by weight. And things like spinach, for example, is about 45%, and things all the way up to... Um, like uh, bee pollen is about 40% and blue-green algae is about 65% by weight. So, you know, if if your consideration is about protein, then you wouldn't, you'd never eat uh, animal products. That's just a a, uh, lost cause. Right, exactly. Cool. Well, so um, uh, also uh, you guys have your uh, uh, meeting room open now uh, in Beats. That's right. We do, we have a, a meeting space where we allow uh, people to, we call it rent the space, but if, um, if people eat, uh, typically between 10 and 15 people, um, then uh, we use the, whatever people use uh, or purchase food as uh, their payment for the rent. So the rent is washed when the, when the sales meet that, and it always does. Um, so... Uh, people are using the room, um, and it's a lovely space. Um, so, yes, it's available for rent. Uh, people just need to call the cafe, and uh, Ellie keeps the calendar, and we check on availability and, and do the reservation. Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, the uh, the way to book the – how many people does the, will the room seat there? Yeah, comfortably we can do 30 people in the room. All right, 30 people. And, yeah, just call Ellie at um, – the main number beats is four seven seven two three three eight, 
um, and um, you know visit with Ellie or just ask to speak with somebody about uh, um, reserving the room. Yeah, or they can even uh, send an email to info at beatscafe.com and that'll get to her as well. Cool. Yeah. And uh, so um, uh, the the big item on the list right now is uh, what uh, what's coming up for Valentine's Day. Oh, every year, David, we do um, a special meal every year as if we've been here forever. But this is the third year that we'll do a Valentine's Day special menu. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's fun because people who are serious about their health, you know, have a hard time going out to, to eat somewhere. So we do make it a point to create something fun and fabulous and completely off the menu. And uh, what we have uh, next week, we have uh, stuffed uh, pesto stuffed portobello. So we're getting some fresh basil from uh, one of the farmers uh, here in Austin. And uh, so we're stuffing baby bellas. And um, we're doing an olive tepanade on a crostini, and I tried that crostini the other day, and it is so amazing. So, so tell um, people what uh, tell people what bellas are also. Well, bellas are little mushrooms, right. are the tiny the tiny mushrooms, and we stuff those with pesto. And uh, um, explain. Um, uh, so you know, most people think of pesto as basil and Parmesan cheese. So uh, oh, God said no, no cheese. So this is. <laughs> So this is a, a dairy-free, of course, because it's a, uh, we are a vegan restaurant. And the pesto will be um, probably uh, walnuts and um, pine nuts. Right. And that creates the kind of, of yumminess, the richness, particularly the pine nuts, cre- mm-hmm. creates the yumminess um, that, that cheese would. Um, and mix that with the pesto and a little... You know, a little more seasoning is really amazing. You you would just be surprised at you know combining a couple of things how you can make you know you can make food healthy and delicious. Um, so we've figured out how to combine some of these things. So it it has the uh, the feel and the appearance and the taste of other things that people are used to, but in a much uh, more healthy fashion. Yeah, so wait, that's what's we- up that yeah, we grow our we grow uh, our own basil, and that's the exact same recipe we use too. Is um, uh, equal parts of uh, pine nuts and walnuts, and then that to equal parts of basil. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's, it's amazing, amazing, awesome. amazing. So t- tell people what an olive uh, tepanade and a croissanti is. Christini. Oh, Christini. The olive tepanade is a mixture of of olives, onions, tomato. We might have a little bit of garlic, some uh, herbs. Um, and some capers, and that's like a like a little like a little salad, if you will, like a, uh, a wonderful salad. And that goes that's topped on a crostini, and the crostini is a, a little cracker, and it's Italian herbs in the cracker that the olive tepanade will be on top of. I'm starting to um, get hungry now. I know, me too. Me too. I can't wait to eat that stuff. So what's uh, what's the next course? The next one is the petite arugula salad, where we've got some wonderful local arugula, some baby arugula. It's really yummy, and it's mm. got uh, just a light salad dressing on that. Um, and then the uh, the main dish is our ravioli. Mm. We make a, the ravioli, and it's often cheese stuffed. Um, and uh, the ravioli is uh, coconut meat, um, maybe some zucchini, a little bit of... of um, I believe we're doing this time shallots in there, um, <clears throat> and that will make will make our uh, ravioli. And then we have a herb a macadamia cream sauce that that goes over, and then it comes with a kind of a pistachio uh, uh, parsley salad. And that's cool, really, really yummy. yummy. And then, uh, of course, it, uh, are you guys going to have like a surprise dessert this year again? Well, we do have. I mean, I thought. I've already kind of spilled the beans on the on the seductive surprise. Oh yeah. Well, all right. Well, if you spill the beans, go ahead and tell people what to expect then. All right. Well, um, it's a brownie. It'll be kind of a it's a beautiful brownie. Um, it'll be topped with a vanilla a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and then I've got some lovely uh, blood oranges, and we've got and made a, a blood orange sauce. Mm. Kind of a it's going to go on um, 
with the brownie and the ice cream along with some chocolate sauce. Yeah. And it's going to be topped with a, it looks like a um, painted glass. It's sliced uh, blood oranges that we've dried to a crisp, and it looks like a painted glass, and that'll be on top of the whole thing. Cool. Delicious and beautiful at the same time. Yum. So, you know, if people are interested, you know, make your reservations. That's the best way to uh, make sure that you get a dish, a dish for that uh, for that evening and a seat. Yeah, be sure. Yeah, be sure and call now because it's you know already the tenth, and so you know, be sure and call Ellie or whoever's picking up the phone and make a reservation. Yeah. And you're doing uh, uh, singles and uh, couple pricing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a couple price is eighty five dollars for the five courses. Uh, singles is fifty. Um, so, um, and you know, and if you don't have a honey, I have a lot of people who come with a friend. Right. Uh, you know, a couple of girls will come and have a great evening, and they'll save the save the, on the couple's price, and they can do that. Or well, we have single people who like to come and, and enjoy as well. Well, you're doing two tops and four tops, both, right? So exactly. you know, if you've got a you know, if you're a a, a a single person, bring three friends, and if you're a couple, bring another couple. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we've done that. My husband and I last year we had we had dinner with uh, uh, another couple. Uh, so there was four of us on the four tops. We had a great time. Cool. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Any, well, anything else you'd like to share with people about uh, uh, coming attractions at Beats? And we'll wrap up. All right. Well, um, stay tuned. Check the um, check our our Facebook. Um, we are having doing a um, an Asian fusion class um, in February the eighteenth. And that's got a long menu as well. Um, but check that out on the on our website at you know beatscafe dot com. Well, tell people uh, g- give like a quick definition of Asian fusion. Oh, the Asian fusion class. Well, that includes uh, Vietnamese salad rolls with the mock peanut sauce, and that those are like spring rolls, and those are amazing. Yeah. Um, we're doing um, California rolls. Uh, we're doing a. a Cinnamo salad. It's a Japanese cucumber salad. We're doing a uh, mango avocado salad. Mm. Um, we're also doing the chum kai, um, a, a Thai coconut soup, a vegetable teriyaki, and a mango ice cream with a tropical ambrosia. And that's the menu for the class. So we'll be doing that in class, doing the demonstration, and people will get to, of course, eat everything cool. uh, that we make. Um, and, you know, they go home with the recipes and get a good idea on, on how to make all of these dishes. Excellent. Yeah. Well, and also, um, I'd recommend people uh, just uh, search uh, Meetup and uh, Google for different networking groups that meet there at Beats, too. It's a great place yeah. to come and, um, you know, there are lots of different um, uh, high-tech and business networking groups that meet at Beats and, you know, come and introduce yourself to groups and have some great food. Yeah, it's becoming a, a Meetup spot. Yeah. Oh, and and of course, you know, to start off your uh, your uh, Valentine menu, you have a. I mean, since it's a little cool on Valentine's Day, have a glass of uh, hot chocolate bliss, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cool. You know, we have the bliss in the cafe. So, if you guys are are, are looking for how to get it fast, it's here at the cafe. Cool. Um, well, thank you yeah. very much, uh, Sylvia, for uh, taking some time and uh, sharing with people what's coming up at Beats. Well, thank you so much, David, for for, um, for inviting me up. You're welcome.